um, visit to Barbados, having assumed the responsibilities for Barbados Affairs. They had a meeting today with the Barbados Council that included not only Chairman Mackenzie Frank, but also the representative, the Honorable Trevor Walker. Give us a sense of, you know, how was, was the meeting? Are you satisfied with the outcome? What was the tone of the meeting like? Well, first I must say I'm satisfied with the outcome. The tone, as you asked, was a good tone. It's a good starter for a new minister. And the responses from council were equally encouraging. We looked at a number of issues, the whole question of infrastructure, the whole question of financing, uh, vocational training, an array of issues that were covered. And I found that in some instances, there are some matters that can be easily dealt with by central government, uh, other matters which we have to refer to the cabinet, which in my opinion is also easy to deal with. But uh, the spirit of cordiality, I think, is what I will take from this meeting. Uh, on council, for example, uh, we we'll remark that the time is now to um, heal wounds, as he put it, and to move forward the spirit of togetherness. And so uh, I'll take away that kind of intimation from the meeting, that willingness, seeming willingness to, to work together. For my part, I was very insistent that, you know, we're one country, a common goal, a common destiny. We may use different vehicles to get to the same place, but we're going to the same place nonetheless, which is optimally the improvement of Latin and Tigan and Barbuda. And so today's meeting was encouraging. Uh, we will continue our next meeting in St. John's, and we'll have a series of meetings that we are settling into the ministry portfolio. But also important to note was the fact that the parliamentary um, secretary sorry, um, was a part of the meeting, sent to Mr. Binet, Charles, and I was very clear in her role and function. So she'll be like an interlocutor between myself and the council. Myself being a barbie, you know, myself, the uh, president of the she has a very key role to play in the ministry as we fashion the relations between Antigua and the central government and the council. Um, there's a particular accord, the Essex Agreement, um, 40 years old, which we agreed would be revisited. And so I'm going back to cabinet tomorrow to ask that we have that sense of uh, urgency. Um, a committee from council and from the um, central government to look at the Essex Agreement to see what elements of it um, need to be tweaked, need to be refashioned. One area, for example, comes to mind is the whole question of a 300000 a year grant that goes to the Barbados Council with respect to political services. No, nobody says stamps today. And so we all agree that that particular um, area of the, of the agreement represents, you know, not only absurdity, but you can call it nullity because it just doesn't happen anymore with stamps. And I'm sure uh, they promised to furnish a couple of agreement. I'm sure that there are other areas of the agreement which will require a review. 40 years since it was first um, fashion. The Barbuda economy is emerging, it's evolving. Uh, we all agree to that. And so the question of putting in place, and I did ask them to do that, started with technical studies to see what elements of this build out of the economy Barbuda they can um, look at, to look at the income streams that will help the council to better manage the affairs of Barbuda. Uh, I think we all agree that uh, one of the challenges over the years was the question of resources. And so to the extent that Barbuda is now having a, an emerging economy, that should not be a challenge per se, as there are different areas that they can look at to, to exact and extract resources in support of council's mandate. The council's mandate is enshrined in law, and that is very clear. And so if the Barbuda economy grows out to the extent that you have um, that level of ABS still on our, on our income streams or our tax streams, then things like road and hospital and education, which are the, the preserve of the council, would no longer be seen as you know areas for central government to look at. Uh, and so again, I think the time is right for us to have this conversation. A time for us to look at the the whole question of revisiting the the old agreements, dropping old attitudes, and certainly embracing a positive 21st century attitude going forward. Thank you.